well this is the app that we are going to work today pretty 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 simple radio app okay just with one station and one button one button to play and one button to stop so if you check we have this button and now it will work as a stop button stop and then it will change to play again so we have to wait for this just give me a second and that is okay so oh there goes so let's watch the video Hello, my name is Eduardo, and today um, I am here with this uh, tutorial for one radio app, okay, in App Inventor. Well, uh, as you check in my previous video, this is the app, okay, that we are going to be working today. Well, quite similar because I've been trying some things, okay. So, but for this first tutorial about this uh, radio app, I just wanted to make it uh, simple, okay. Well. So let's start with this. So well, uh, the first thing uh, we are going to create a new screen just to work with this project. So let's say that like that. And let's start. Well, the first thing here is start like dragging the things that we need to make this app. Remember. Just for this uh, first tutorial, I just wanted to keep it uh, simple, okay? So, uh, let's go here, and let's drag, uh, we are going to need a button, and this is going to be start play button, and we are going to change this to play okay and I also need um, well this is just for the basic idea okay the play button and we need the media we need a player component so you drag it over there and I guess in this case it is something like this okay pretty simple now what you need now it is your radio stations the way I got some of these uh, stations from the web it was using VLC okay so I am using VLC and then I just selected here some is, some of this option that is Icecast uh, radio directory okay so and then here you have some options okay that you can check obviously you need to try you need to try lots of them okay to see if they are working properly with App Inventor okay so you have here the address and for example let's select one of these one uh, maybe let's choose a name here k jazzy so you have this name so how to copy this name well it's pretty simple so for example you double click here oh just let me here destroy the connection with companion well this is the radio station is working oh well in this case it was working with game because this one was not working so you have game dot mp3 well, you just go to tools, codec information, and then you here check, you have here the address. You just copy from place. You close this, copy, and then you go to App Inventor. Basically, the idea is with the button. You use here this player, and then in player, we are going to set the source. The source will be this link we paste it then we just insert it there we have the source now we can just play it 
start and we are going to need another one to stop well just to try okay just to, let me refresh my companion so you have companion so uh, a good tip for you when you are working with this kind of sounds okay in app inventor it is a, always a stop the sounds before you load a new screen or you refresh the screen because you know you're going to have a sound in the background, running in the background. Well, we go here. And I guess we have E-N-Y-H-Y-Z. Connect. And let's see. Let's wait a little bit. Just let me resize this thing. I guess that's okay. In this case, we use resize this part. And we have it, okay? When we play, we are going to set the source and then it's going to play. So let's try. Something that I just discovered is that sometimes it, it's really, 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 really slow. Or you get these kind of messages. For example, sound relay. Okay. So maybe station is not working or you have the address incorrect or something. So we try again because I guess I play, I paste it with one space. Okay. So that's why. So it has to be really, really accurate. We wait. It's like loading check this game, so the bottom get like that. I don't know if you can listen. That's working. Now we need to stop it. We do it. So well, this is just the basic, the basic way to work with this. Now how how to use this play button to play and stop play and stop the radio station well it's pretty simple well no, not pretty simple we are going to use a condition we're going to use this condition and we're going to use here this block here in player we go to is player uh, player is playing so it's detecting if he's playing this thing oh again do it we stop it okay and then we go here uh, then we select logic so we're going to drag not if this if the player is not playing uh, I mean this is true if the player is not playing okay well we're going to set the source to this so it's not playing so it is like freeze okay we are going to play it else okay that means that is playing we're going to stop it okay with the same button ah also we're going to change this label text while is playing we're going to set the text the button text to stop that means that now the bottom will stop the radio station. We duplicate and then else that means that play. Okay, so let's let's try it. So remember, let's review again these blocks. If the player is not playing, so we are going to set a source, this source, this station, and we're going to play uh, the text. Uh, and we're going to change the text of the button to stop. Because now in that case, the button will use, uh, we will use it as a stop. And then we have here, we call the start. And for the stop, else, if the player is playing, okay, so it is, we are listening to the radio, okay. We are going to use the bottle to stop. So let's check if this is working the way I want or not. So we have it like that. We play. Now 
two things have to happen here. We have to play this and we have to change this um, text. So we have to wait for the station to load. Remember, this is sometimes taking. That's it. It's playing now. If you can listen. Now the button change to stop. Instead of having two buttons, play stop, so we can have two. And we stop it with this one. We wait for the station to stop, for the streaming. And it has to change now the text of the button. Okay, and that's it. That's the way we make a very, 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 very simple uh, radio app, okay? So, with just one station, okay? So, I guess I will uh, just leave it uh, until this part, okay, just for you to check. Also, it is important to check here the supported formats for the network protocols, okay? Maybe you can find something interesting. About some some of these stations are not working okay so what if we want to change to another one well you have to go to VLC or I don't know any way you can uh, source that you want to stream okay or for example I select another one check here in the names you can have an idea right so but most of them quite work some of them are really really slow or take too much time to load but that's the way the, the thing you need to check it okay so you can refresh this or you can check in another part so the idea is just to to add it okay but for this tutorial i guess i will keep it simple because in the next video we will add more stage more stations to our radio app okay and remember you can get a vlc uh, download it and maybe you can have an idea about which stations to use here for example this one the, it says all 80s so maybe I can use this one so remember we play this station and then we wait for this station to load or we can copy this okay this uh, this link or you just can wait sometimes you have some mistakes maybe it's not working so and then goes to the next station trying to play this one we just this is working we go to tools while it's playing information we copy this okay close check so we stop this one and then we go here to App Inventor and we paste Control D, close, uh, enter, I mean, and then we play it again here to see if this station is working. I'll just wait a second. And don't forget to check my uh, my Patreon if you want to have sometimes this, uh, this kind of projects, okay? I will share the source files with you. Um, and all the things that I use in the video. Well, we have the station over there. It is working. Okay. Well, now. I guess that's uh, all for today. So for the next video, we will add a volume button. Okay. So my name is Eduardo. I hope you enjoyed this mini, mini, mini tutorial about radio app, okay? So we will continue with this, okay? So to make it a little bit more uh, complicated, okay? But this is just the basic stuff, okay? Just to let you think about the next part, okay? So try to think about uh, how to use here. In this case, you can use, okay, the slider, okay, to control the volume, okay? Remember the volume, it has a value for the sound, for the player. The maximum value for this it is 100 okay so you can set here something about max value 100 and it is your homework think about how to implement this volume thing okay well my name is Eduardo goodbye until the next time